Blackmagic Design today released the beta version of Resolve 19, which is our newest version of Resolve. That will actually probably be released officially uh, sometime during the summer. But today they were at NAB and did a like a two hour video stream. And one thing they introduced was the 19 beta. Now there are many new features, but this one I'm gonna concentrate here is just a short video about the render speed for H.264 and H.265. They said in the newest version, if you use the native encoder, it's going to be around twice as fast as 18.6.6. So I'm doing a little test here. So first I'm going to fire up 18.6.6. I'm going to have, and I have a standard clip with just a little fusion title at the beginning that I rendered out and timed. So you'll be able to see the time. And then I uninstalled 18.6.6, installed 19, restarted the computer. Now I had did the same clip and used QuickTime H.264 and you can see the different render speeds of the two. So this should mean that if you have the free version, you know, this is the studio version, but the free version uses native and that's why I have this set to. So the speed difference should be the same with the free version. And you'll see if there's any difference if you upgrade to the 19 beta or eventually the final 19. So we'll go ahead and do the 18.6.6 first. Okay, this is the setup for the speed test for Resolve 18.6.6 versus Resolve 19. This is the Resolve 18.6.6. So I have it set as QuickTime, H.264, and Native, because that's what I'll be testing here instead of using my GPU. I'll just be using Native in both to 18.6.6 and 19. I just have a short little clip here, just one text title at the beginning, and it's about a minute and I think 26 seconds long. So then we'll set up the render and see how long it takes to render. And then we'll do the same project in Resolve 19 and see what the difference is. So this is the render for 18.6.6. Okay, that's done. So that's how long it took in 18.6.6. And next, I'll be showing you how quick it is in the new beta version of Resolve 19. Okay, here we are in Resolve 19 Studio Beta. Now I'm going to keep it all the same settings, same clip, same Fusion text title here. I keep it at native, so that way I won't use my GPU. So it should be basically an apples to apples comparison. So I'll add this to the render queue, and I'll now render this. And we'll see its time compared to the 18.6.6. So that's now finished. So you can see that's much quicker. So now we'll compare the two different times of the two different renders. Okay, so after the two different renders, this first job was the 18.6.6. This next one is the new 19 beta. See the time went from 39 seconds using the native encoder for H.264 down to 18 seconds, which is over twice as fast. Now again, it might be slightly different in the free version, but this should be indicative of what your little performance increase you'll see with doing H.264 and H.265 in uh, 19 beta coming from 18.6.6. So that's a very nice improvement. It still helps to have the studio version and the actual GPU encoding, but also some people have said that the native encoder is a little better quality than using the NVIDIA encoder. So I'll let you that that's a choice you'll have to make, but that is a nice in speed increase for the Resolve 19 beta. So that's a nice speed improvement for rendering using the native encoder in Resolve 19 beta. It's a nice improvement over the previous stable version. Now they released quite a few new features and I will be making new videos uh, to showcase them. So those will be coming in the next day or two. So hopefully you'll check back here uh, to watch them and see the different improvements. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.